Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sav. If you're new, I've missed you so much. Every time a couple days goes by and I haven't uploaded and read your comments and all of that, I just like, I miss filming and I miss you so, so much. So I'm so excited to film today. We are doing legacy challenge as usual. Oh, right, there was an update. I hate update days, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Never know what's gonna happen, but at least my family is loading. That's all that matters, right? But yeah, we're doing legacy today. Super excited. We're gonna be aging up arrows today and just uh keep on going keep on playing keep on trucking through this gen yeah we're gonna be saying goodbye to edison soon it's gonna be really sad i hope you guys are prepared for a slideshow i have another sparkling water today another costco special these are called chi forest they're sparkling waters um zero everything this one is white peach i got a pack that has grape orange white peach and lychee the peach is my favorite of course so that's what i'm sipping on today they are so good like so much better than regular sparkling water so they're just like really flavorful you know when you have a sparkling water and it's kind of like someone shouts the flavor from the other room while you're drinking it <laughs> these ones are not like that they're actually so so good and so flavorful so cheers guys i'm so excited to hang out with you today let's get into it all right guys here we are back in the compost household um, i just want to thank you all for your tips about my nails in the last video i really really appreciate it um you guys said to make sure to buff your nails really well i do sand them what's the word i'm looking for file i file them a little bit before i do it but i didn't realize how crucial that was so i'll probably end up like really really filing them next time and then one of you guys suggested to use two coats of dehydrator so i'm gonna try that too um, i did try again because i like googled it and uh, they were like don't do like super thick coats and that's what i was doing because gel polish is super pigmented so i was just like slopping it on you know and if you do too thick of a coat then the gel underneath the top layer won't dry properly so i did a couple really thin coats this time and it is absolutely helping but it's already chipping which is not normal so yeah i'll try the dehydrator i'll try the filing um like extra next time as well so thank you thank you to everyone who gave me tips i really appreciate it okay so let's have a look at the calendar shall we so it's 6 50 a.m we've got nothing today we've got eros's birthday tomorrow he's going to be a toddler i don't know how many infant milestones there are but um yeah i'm gonna try and get them all we'll see if we can do it so yeah edison is sad and he has the emotion bomb quirk i just realized because he's a notable newcomer from riding in his rocket ship and i kind of just want to like step out of the spotlight i'm not really like trying to be famous with him so how do you do that quit the spotlight yeah yup mm -mm. don't want none of that <laughs> now he's sad about it come on like you care all you're doing is freaking playing games on your computer and chatting with random people <laughs> but eloise we're just going down the line here eloise is so cute um i really enjoy having her around she is so involved in eros's life so involved in just taking care of the lot, cleaning, helping out with the animals, cooking. She's just a really pleasant sim to have around. She's feeling confident because she's self-assured and she likes the decorations. <laughs> oh yeah, she just spends her time bopping around the lot since Edison is busy on his computer. Sarah right now is looking up conspiracy theories as a paranoid sim would. Um, she did max her career in the last one, which is super exciting. One of you guys suggested that we don't retire just yet and we use up all of her vacation days. We have 10 of them, so we totally can. Um, and then, yeah, we're working on her super parent aspiration. So the to uh, Eros needs to, I was going to say the toddler. Eros needs to age up into a toddler so that we can discipline him five times. And then Miss Ren, what is she doing? She's uh, helping out with the baby a little bit. She's also feeling sad about the death. I can't remember who died, but... Yeah, she is in the politician career. She got promoted last time, so she's level five. And we are currently trying to finish this aspiration, which is like absolutely impossible. And we're also working on her nectar making skill. And then Mr. Elosia, he's gonna go play in the, the cabinet, which is fine. <laughs> Let's have a look at his milestones though. Um, he hates being held, frequently hiccups and frequently sneezes. Um, I think that the last one that we need is him to learn how to crawl. It looks like we've done everything else, which is so dope. So I think what I wanna do is have Sarah like 
can we teach him how? Or do we just need to like make him do more motor skill stuff? Practice crawling. Yes, that's what we want. Anywho, super excited to see his his toddler form. I know it's not going to be that different, but what what happened? Hello. I want you to make him crawl, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Sarah also met someone in the last episode. Her name is Millie. And uh, it's so annoying. We finally found someone who thinks that we are attractive. Like she, she liked us, but of course we don't like her. We immediately learned that she was a dance machine and became unattracted. That's kind of stupid because we're a dance machine too. Um, I know that's what did it because as soon as we learned that trait, we got the pop-up. So I don't know. I think that's kind of silly. And then also Riley, I really liked. Amazing compatibility. I think she feels neutral though about the attraction. Yeah. So who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Um, I'm not sure who Katie is. I think we might have met her on dating apps. But perfection is neat, amazing compatibility, and we are attracted to her. So maybe we can hang out with her and find out how she feels about us. And then um, Teddy, it looks like Teddy aged up into a, an elder. She's got white hair now. Anywho, so yeah, let's get this crawling milestone done before we age him up. Also, you guys commented and I didn't even freaking notice. Jamie has five children right here. Current children, five. I don't know if like when you upload a sim to the gallery and you place them into your game, does it register their kids? I don't think it does. So he has five kids with who knows? I don't even know. God knows who, but I really, really want to know. Samantha. Oh my gosh. Marlo. Oh, <gasps> that's Stacy's last name. Are you telling me that they had quadruplets? Oh my god where is stacy where is she <gasps> oh my god they totally had four kids together holy crap what i need to know i need to know if that was from when they woohooed in that leaf pile all of them or if they had like two separate sets or that is insane. That is actually insane. Hang on. I will I will go check. I'll go check in a, in a minute. But wow, my mind is blown right now. Absolutely blown. Take PTO. Yeah, let's take PTO. And Arrow says learn how to crawl. Let's freaking go. That was your Wow, Ren. That was quite the celebration. Yep. It looks like he's done every single milestone. I can't even believe it, guys. Look at us go. Look at us go. I've never done that before. So huge, absolutely epic achievement there. So yeah, I think like I love having my Sims be autonomous. I do. But you guys are like begging me to like have Edison be more involved in Eros's life. And I really want that too. I was just hoping that he would do it by himself. I don't know if we need to like introduce them first because they don't even know each other. But let's see what happens once we actually introduce them, you know? Smile at Edison, babble at Edison, watch Edison. Yeah, I also think that we need to take some family pictures like Edison with the baby, Edison with Sarah. I usually do that every generation. Oh my God. Right. That was cute. I wish I got a screenshot of that. That was so adorable. But yeah. Ooh, we got mail and Eros is feeling kind of sleepy. So why don't we like put him to bed and then maybe we can infant laughter from watching infant. How cute. Maybe we can go hang out with someone. Um, I'm curious about Katie. And a couple of you guys were telling me that I should change Sarah's preferences in in cast so that she is attracted to Millie. I really did like Millie. She seemed really, really sweet. Oh, not the black hen with the hat. Rest in peace, black hen with the hat. Where's the clothing going to go is the real question. Is it going to go like in the household inventory? Oh, man. I think we only have two chickens left. No. Wow, we have four left. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, look at him. Putting him to bed. Eloise is like, hell yeah, it is sin. Be involved. All right, Ren, that's enough. That's enough. Ren has just been like pranking Sarah this whole time. 
Anyway, Sarah's in a pretty good mood. So let's see. Katie, this is her. Focus the camera. Is she here? Oh, she's over here fishing. She's got gray eyes and brown hair. She's quite pretty. Who's calling Edison? I want to let you know that Ho and I are now dating. Oh, Lilith is dating a girl. Hell yeah, Lilith. Sorry, Edison. I mean, you had your chance. You really did. Katie Baxter, why do I feel like this might be one of your guys' sims? No, oh, where do you think you're going? No, no, no. You don't get to go away. You must talk to us. Compliment outfit. Hurry up. She's she's going away. Hurry up. Katie, wait. Katie. Katie. It's me, Sarah. Hi. Oh, whoa. That was, uh, that was crazy. All right, let's do let's do our normal thing where we share too much about ourselves and then see if she likes us. Some of you guys were saying that you didn't did not like the new attractive preferences in the update. And wow, yeah, you're right. It does it does make things harder like finding a partner. It's pretty realistic though, but it definitely makes it hard us to hang out. Where are you going? Why are you leaving? We we always share personal details with people and then they leave. Learn more, ask for attraction level. I want to let you know that Deesa and I broke up. Okay, good for you, bro. Good for you. Or bad for you, I don't really know. I don't know who you are. What is this? Sorrowful supporter from friend ending a relationship. Sarah, it's okay. You don't even know that person. Oh dear. The romance consultant in her is really showing. You're all right, I guess. Okay, well. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's go hang out with Millie again. Every time Eros is asleep, that it's like our chance to, to go out, you know? Go out and have some fun, hang out with some dates. I'm really tired of going to restaurants though. And restaurants aren't even working at the moment. So what if we like beach, shopping, bar, gym, bathhouse? We could go to the bathhouse and I could try to um, get some more simmies for a collection. Kill two birds with one stone, you know? Okay. Hi, Millie. How are you today? Hope you're well. Ask about taste in music. Ask about favorite fashion. Just get to know her a little more. I think they get along really well. Likes country <gasps> and likes preppy fashion. Ooh, no wonder she likes us. Let's go in the hot springs. And we earned almost 3K on our day off today. Oh, lordy. Look at all of these girlies in here. We got Misakahara, Michikohara. I wonder if they're sisters. She got a six pack. Not the girl who's just in the hot springs offering us a, a freaking gardener job. Oh, she's off to go browse the vending machine all by herself. Is this the one that has simmies? No, it's not. Is there a simmy one here? No. So lame. I'll have to go to the other spot. Oh, she got herself a cupcake. How sweet is that? Hello. Oh, what was that? She ate a Cupid's cupcake. Of course she did. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> was it love when Sarah first spotted the Cupid's cupcake? Well, if not, it's here because her tummy is full of love. Deep connection, feeling fulfilled, kind words received, love is in the air. Pretty tasty. Look at these two having a conversation through the fence. Wow, incredible. <gasps> the Yamakan! Hi! What a sweet baby. Sweet baby child. There's the raging werewolf just on time. Where'd it go? I swear there was one. I'm not making it there, there, there. Kicking the... Wait, what? What's her name? Elsa Campos, Onsen Custodian. Oh no. Oh no. Not a Campos. Oh Jesus. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go home. That was a fun time with Millie. That was a fun time. All righty. Oh God. Eros is pit. Who took him out of the bed? Oh my God. Why has nobody been taking care of him? We leave for eight hours and he's just in the worst mood ever. 
Hello, how are you doing? It's your birthday today, little one. Hi, Ren. Can we have some privacy, please? Ooh. Now everyone wants to be in the room when I'm trying to take care of him. You guys had your chance. What? First word milestone. I thought we did them all already. Holy crap. Wow. I have no idea how many milestones there are. Probably too many. Also, you guys said that disco naps are better than sleeping for dance machines? I had no idea. If we just do disco nap over and over again, it, it, it increases your energy more. I guess it goes up decently fast, but uh, we also have our potions of plentiful needs. Who needs sleep when you have magic, you know? All right, let's drink this up and then uh, what to do, what to do. We could probably max charisma if we wanted to. I think I said that in the last one. <laughs> But I kind of want to do something productive at the moment. Damn it, it didn't work. It made all of her needs in the yellow. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's really frustrating. It's broken. Oh, come on. Taking PTO again. All right, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on our charisma a little bit. So we have this mirror here. Practice speech. Let's get Edison to start a club gathering. Okay. Edison, get off your computer. Let's uh, let's make a cake for your grandson. I kind of want to do like a hamburger cake or a zombie cake. Let's see. Slept through the night milestone. Yo! All these milestones I didn't even know existed. They said it was impossible, but Arrows finally slept through the night. No fussing, crying, or interruptions. Just peace and quiet. And maybe some snoring. Wow. Incredible. All these milestones I had no idea existed. Look at us go. Hi, Evangeline. How you doing, my love? She has seven days left. That means Edison probably has like five left. Yeah, she definitely needs to break up with Jamie now that he has four kids with that other woman. That is so messed up. I can't even believe that. Four. Four. Where did they come from? She must have all had them at the same time. No joke. All right, Sarah, how's your charisma coming? What are you at? Uh, let's see. Oh, she's... uh. 67% through a level nine, almost there. I wonder if toddlers or infants that hit all of those milestones, I wonder if they're just like better behaved toddlers. I'm so curious to see. Peekaboo milestone? Oh my goodness. Look at him standing in his crib. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm telling Edison to have another serious talk with her about it. It's about time, okay? What? What do you mean you're in love? Oh my god, I swear. Yes, you should just end it already. Alright, let's go ahead and age him up. Um, help blow out candles, arrows. Happy birthday, my boy! It's time for your toddler- Oh my god, not the stinky coop again. Good grief. I'm about to fire the ranch hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Maybe I should hire and rehire. I heard that kind of that helps sometimes. All right, little guy, let's do this thing. She's still in her freaking bathing suit. Happy birthday! Ew, not the slobber. That's so gross. All right. Whoa, his hair color changed. Okay, so oh my god, toddler's day spent running with playing with toys. Um. So we got one movement and one communication, and we got happy infant. We got happy infant all by ourselves, guys. Look at us go. And his trait? Charmer. Oh, perfecto. Perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. Perfecta, si, perfecta. And his dad sent him a gift. Aw, how sweet actually so sweet all right let's go into cast and have a look at you my boy and give you your your brown hair back unless it could get darker as he gets older i guess we can see which one looks best mitzel benarla mitzel benarla all righty <gasps> look at this handsome lad look at those cheeks oh my gosh Oh my god, she's so cute, you guys. So the hair, his hair color when he was an infant was, I think it was, yeah, I, no, was it this one? I think it was this one. I think he looks super, super cute with this hair. He had straighter hair when he was an infant, but given his background, I feel like he would have um, curlier hair. And I just, oh, this just looks so cute on him. 
So we're gonna do that one and then let's see. I usually put like some type of like lip thing on um, and then turn down the opacity just to make like give it a little bit of texture make it look semi-realistic uh let's see which one do we want to do maybe that one and then turn it down yeah that looks pretty good i also i keep forgetting to put my um lash details back in the kajiko ones was the best i keep forgetting to put those back in my game but it's okay, I'll just do it. I'll do it next time. Let's just apply this to every outfit. And all right, let's get you dressed, my boy. A charmer, huh? Oh my goodness, how cute. I absolutely love this CC with the shirt and the backpack. I just think it's so adorable. And look at how many swatches there are. It's honestly insane. Ooh, the heart. I think we're gonna have to do the heart. I don't know what's wrong with the heart's mouth but where's it the nose i honestly can't tell there's a hippo a bunny koala bear a dog a sheep the heart a cookie i think i'm not really sure i really don't know why the heart has a mouth like that but uh, what color do we want to do i think blue and red looks really good on him we could do these little shorts and then let's see some socks of course and then what shoes we do the growing together shoes. I always like dressing my kids like in like an 80s or a 90s style. I just think it's so freaking cute with the socks and the shorts. Oh, those shoes are cool. Okay, I think he likes them. What about vans? Some red vans. Blue. I think I like the classic black and white. Oh, he is so freaking adorable, you guys. I can't. Also, look at him with glasses. I don't know. Maybe we can give him glasses when he gets older, but so cute. All right. Formal wear. I don't know if we're ever, we're ever going to see it, but if we do, I'll give him one. Sleepwear. Wow, this is actually a really nice sleepwear. It matches and everything. It looks super comfy. Party wear. Let's see. This is nice for formal wear, even for party wear as well. Oh my god, the little floral shirt. Are you kidding me right now? Yes. 100%. You can wear your vans again. Little pink swim trunks? Sure, why not? Hot weather. Oh yeah, this outfit ain't it. Let's do this shirt from Growing Together. Should we do the fruit? The dinosaur? The dinosaur is kind of sick. <clears throat> dinosaur with some little shorts. Actually like the black shorts and then we'll do socks again mm, yes with wow should we just give him bands for every outfit he kind of rocks them all right let's throw on a little hat to uh shield you from the sun this is my favorite hat to put on toddlers i just think it's it's just too cute it looks like i have some cc ones as well different patterns but no i like this one dark blue doesn't even shade him from the sun, but you get the idea. Okay, now cold weather. I like those pants. Those are cool. We can do a little crew neck. Oh my gosh, look at this. How precious. How oh, pretty. The little turtleneck. Okay, and we'll give him boots for this outfit. Oh yeah. All right, perfect. So cute. We'll throw on a beanie. Beanie or pom pom hat pom-pom hat is pretty cute look at these heart freaking antennas oh my goodness a bucket hat okay yeah i love it i love it look at him though you guys what a precious little baby <sighs> so exciting sims like argumentative si i mean what <laughs> ren likes argumentative sims yes i don't know where that came from maybe it was from her job but uh yeah i, I definitely think you need a vacation you had a stressful work day oh no all right mister welcome to toddlerhood i was gonna say welcome to the world but no welcome to toddlerhood let's update your room let's get you a proper uh, proper bed and then we'll get you a potty of course let's delete that delete that all right we got this nice bed frame it's for toddlers now i got to find a toddler bed to put in it i like to use cc toddler beds because as you can see, this is only energy three, right? But then you go down to these CC ones, energy 
10. This is five and five, this is three, but uh, we're definitely going to use the 10 and one. It's a little hack, a little cheat to make taking care of toddlers a little bit easier. Aw, look at that one. So cute. Okay, let's put this. What the? What is happening? Is my move objects on, not on? Huh? Oh, hell no. Move objects on. All right. Okay. We still need the changing table. Let's snag him a potty here and a toy box. Yeah, let's put the potty in the bathroom. Let's grab this dollhouse. Size it down, put that in the corner to match with his like space rocket themed pirate bedroom. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. This is kind of out of place. Let me get rid of that. We'll get him an iPad to be an iPad kid. And then a toy box. Let's see what swatch looks good. Hmm. None of them really. What about this one? Ooh, kind of like the green. Size it down. It can double as a end table. <laughs> or we could put it at the end of the bed. No, it'll double as an end table. Okay, cool. I might spice this up a little bit later, but actually we need a, a, a doll so that uh, he can work on his communication. Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, I think he's got everything he needs. I think that the first thing that we should do is potty train him though. Get that out of the way. <laughs> He's eating some of his cake first. Good appetite. Ooh, Eros is always ready for more food. Toddlers with a good appetite love to eat more than other toddlers. This can make mealtime easier. Sarah and Eros have a strict family dynamic? Really? Interesting. I never would have guessed that. I wonder if it's because it's her first child. Okay, we'll go with it. Hopefully it doesn't ruin their relationship. Penerfa Frosh, parenting level five. Oh, that's right, we need to... I'm feeling very unsatisfied in our relationship. You don't say, I haven't seen you in forever. Poor baby needs some amusement. It's almost Edison's time. Make the most, hold up, really? I want to know how many days he has left. Three, three days. Oh man, mm, I don't think we're gonna have enough time to do his uh, his aspiration. That's okay. We did a lot with him. What? An egg that was incubated in the coop is ready to hatch? Who did that? Ren? Okay, sure. Why not? Let's hatch him. Hatch him and also clean the coop because geez, dude. Those poor chickens. How cute. Ren helped ha a chick hatch from the end egg. What a heartwarming moment. We don't even need to buy more chickens. We can just hatch more eggs. I just want him to get to potty level two so that he can go by himself. That's my main goal. You got this, bud. Once you do that, you can go play. No way, he didn't do it. Hi, caramba. All right, Edison. Well, it's about that time to clear out your inventory. A very, very sad time indeed. We're basically gonna give everything to Sarah. Everything you've got goes to her. Potions and all. These potions have been handed down from generation to generation. I wonder, can I multi-select and drag? No? Dope. I think I asked that last time too. LOL, he still has the skis that he stole from the rental place. All right, it's all cleaned out except for the weed, which he can hang on to because why not? You know, why not? What does Eloise have in her inventory? Oh my goodness, why? Why do you have so many crops in your inventory? Give these crystals to Ren. And then all of this I'm selling cause like, God, she must have been in the garden just harvesting everything. $57,000, holy moly, 58,000. That is insane. Just from vegetables. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to bust out the camera and the tripod. I think it might be in our family inventory. But I just realized we didn't didn't even take a picture of Edison for the for the legacy house to put on the wall over here. So we need to get that done. I also want to take a picture of him with Ooh, that's cute. Take a picture of him with the baby and with Sarah. And I want to do it in front of the rocket. All right. My game is not cooperating. That literally took five hours. All right. So um, Edison's um, air picture is going to be him as an elder, but that's okay. I usually try and get a picture of them um, when they're an adult, but uh, it's all good. Look at him. He's a model. How did I not even realize? Oh my goodness. <laughs> he 
reminds me of Jeff Goldblum as an act, as an elder. All right, looking good. All right, well, taking pictures is not working at the moment. I'm getting so frustrated trying to do this, but my game's just lagging as it is. So uh, yeah, well, I'll try again in a minute. But anyways, Eros is fast asleep. He's probably going to be waking up soon. He's starving. Oh, yep, there he goes. He's awake. Good morning, sir. Would you like some food? All right. If he starts throwing food, that can be our first opportunity to discipline him. So let's see what happens. Also, what are you going to give him autonomously? I'm always curious to see that. Better be something healthy. Peas. Watch, it's going to be peas. My game keeps doing this where everyone... Oh my god, it's peas! How did I know? How did I freaking know it was going to be peas? Oh, he's upset about it. Sorry, dude. You got to eat good. You got to eat healthy. Throw it. I dare you, bro. I dare you. Oh, wow. You didn't throw it. Why are you sad? Oh, he needs fun. Okay. Well, you ate all your peas, so do you want to, like, play now? Let's play. Dude, where are you going? What? Oh god. That was actually crazy. This is so cute. Who is calling? Bianca Soto. Wow, I'm so I'm so glad that everyone else is happy in a relationship except me. And of course, this gave him the aggressive quirk. He likes to roughhouse and are quick to hit by or kick sims. Dope. Love that for us. Man, I can't do anything right now, you guys. I have no idea why, but my sims just stand around and do everything except for what I asked them to do. I might have to end this episode early because I need to figure out how I can fix this. It's impossible to play. It's impossible to film. What? I just happened to be in the neighborhood, but when I passed by your place, I felt you... Wait, I felt your love like a strong magnet pulling me to you, so I decided to drop in and say hello. Hello? That's Casey. Hey, girl. I've never gotten that pop-up before. Have you guys? That's actually pretty cute. Because I just got a notification that uh, she was very unsatisfied in our relationship. She's actually putting in some effort here. DZ Bombo. <laughs> you sly dog, Sarah. You sly dog. God, she's so adorable. Okay, they're going to woohoo in the hot tub. Oh man. How do we how does Casey feel about us again? We feel attracted to her, but she she feels neutral about us. I'm scared. I really don't want to have another baby right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you're gonna do it anyway? You're gonna do it anyway? Okay, yeah. She's feeling embarrassed because this is like super awkward. It's probably for the best. Oh, look at him go. That was a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Let's put Edison's picture up. Ooh, and I need to replace the wallpaper in here as well. Whoopsies. Okay, pictures, where are they? Ren has so much crap in her inventory, it's not even funny. She's even got pictures of Oliver in here. She's just the family photographer, it looks like. Where are all the pictures of Edison that we just took? Wow, they're just not here. Maybe we should have, like, Eloise do it instead. But it's dark outside, so I guess we'll just do it tomorrow. Uh-oh, who died? Wilson? Oh, jeez. Yeah, that one, that one's hard. That's a tough one. Oh man, how sad. I think he was uh, an elder too. Wilson was Edison's best friend until, well, you all know what happened. <laughs> oh, my poor boy. He's giving himself a pep talk right now. He knows he's next. He knows, he knows his time is coming up. Oh no. Another one? 
So chill. Dang, dude. And his way to cope is to go chat on the computer. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Oh my gosh. All right, how many days you got? Two. Two days. Aw, look at her cross stitching on the rocking chair. Aw, that is so sweet and wholesome. I love that so much. Typical elder things. Okay, I'm having Eloise take them this time because they were way too hard to find in Ren's inventory. So, ooh, I kind of like him in the tank top. You can see his tattoo, his dragon tattoo. Beautiful absolutely beautiful this girl went and harvested everything again i swear i swear i just cleaned out your inventory and you're gonna go pull that mm. let's do this one we'll do a black frame like we do for everyone else's we'll do a filter uh, it looks like we have white vignette on them yeah yes i need to go into build mode and move it back up but dang i wonder what we should put on his pedestal he owned a bar he liked to play games hmm he was into rockets i guess we could put the skis that he stole i don't know if you guys have any um ideas of what we should put on his pedestal let me know his marriage certificate we could put i'll size it down in a minute but yeah i don't know the only thing i could think of is putting like space stuff for zoe we have her her science machine i think this is her oh my god what is this is that her diploma or something her wedding bouquet her glimmer stone her cauldron charlie has his accolade his little parenting plate because he had so many kids the garden cart he was obsessed with Olive has her style board, her little alien thing because she was paranoid and into aliens and conspiracy theories, her excellence bunny, her style tablet. I can't remember what was on her pedestal. It's gone now. A lot of the stuff that was in here is gone. Oh, that's kind of sad. Oh, well, I'll fix it up when my game isn't acting so buggy. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry to end this episode early, but I am just getting so frustrated with how my game is like acting right now. I just can't do anything. I hope I have enough good footage for a decently long episode. If you guys have any idea why my game might be working like this, if you guys know of any mods that need to be updated or anything I can do, let me know because it's seriously so frustrating. Dwight Hastings, Bramble and I are now friends. That's great. Uh, so yeah, we were able to age up Eros, which is great. Let's look at the calendar and see what we've got going on in the next one. We've got Air Day, which we have to do a bunch of things that um, the other heirs like to do. Our past heirs kind of like paying tribute to them. We have Rebay Day, Halloween. Oh my gosh, it's Halloween already again? Zang, okay. And then we've got Eros' birthday as well. Wow, it goes by so fast. One, two, three, four, five days as a toddler. It's insane how fast it goes when you don't want it to go fast. But then when you, when you want it to go fast, it goes super slow. Ay, ay, ay. Everyone's just in a super sad and pissed off mood uh, because I, I just can't do anything right now. So frustrating. So, so frustrating. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to film tomorrow though. So I'm going to work on trying to figure out what's wrong with my game tonight. I'll do a scan of all my CC and mods and see if anything pops up. Oh, whoo. I also, let's see, Sarah has... 29 days until she's an elder. I really want her to find love, like so unbelievably bad. I just naturally want to find someone that finds her attractive and she finds them attractive. I know that's probably going to be impossible, but I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. And um, I'm also just like waiting to see if any of the girls will like ask her to hang out, you know, ask her if she wants to go on a date. Tell them that they have a crush on her, you know? I don't even know if I should like be using the attractiveness uh, system from Lovestruck or not. If it's just like way too hard to, to find compatibility that way, I don't know. I think I'll know what to do when the time is right. And I also do value, value your opinions as well. So yeah, always make sure to leave me comments. Oh my gosh, look at the baby. Oh, oh it's a rooster. Cool. Or we could always wish for love on the wishing well. Honestly, it's becoming more and more attractive 
every day. Oh my God, should we just do it? I'm kind of scared, but like, what do we have to lose? But at the same time, what if it just gives us someone that we're not attracted to and they're not attracted to us? Maybe she's just feeling so defeated that she's willing to do anything for love at this point. Let me know in the comments if if you guys want to see her wish wish for love at the wishing well. I will do it in the beginning of the next episode. I'm not just going to do it. I'm going to ask I'm going to wait for your guys' opinion <laughs> cuz that's kind of a big deal. It'll immediately throw her in a relationship with whoever it gives us if we get like the overwhelming overwhelmingly positive outcome. Cause there's a couple outcomes that you could get. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry about the shorter episodes, guys. The romantic relationship between Sarah and Millie has fizzled away. Already we just hung out with her. Good grief, dude. I can't catch a break. Aw. I'm so sorry about the shorter episode, y'all. I hope that you understand that it's like pulling teeth trying to play when your game is like this. But as always, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. I hope that you guys are doing really, really well. I love you. I'm going to be filming tomorrow, so leave me comments ASAP. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.